wondered how to make like a speed reel like when someone records it and it goes really fast well there are a few different ways to do it but I'm going to show you how to use an app to do it which is if you make YouTube videos and you want to take a your long 10 minute YouTube video and make it into a real quick clip or a piece of it so it's fun and entertaining to promote your YouTube video or just promote your video if you're not feeling comfortable doing YouTube yet um, you can use this just if you want to start making more videos and do it in a fun way okay so let me share by the way if you are new here my name is Christina Spohr and I make videos all on how to grow your business online and if you're returning I love you okay so let's jump right in to the video all right so what you want to do is you already have the video done hypothetically if not record your video put it on here and you'll open up the InShot app on your phone okay then you'll go to video, uh, sometimes it'll pop up, but it's completely free. Then you'll pop up new and click on the video that you wanna use. And you can see, I picked like the six minute video I did and the six minute video I'm showing you is a video that I actually made for you and showing you how to, how to do it. So you'll open it up and this, um, so what you'll do is once you upload it, you'll scroll over and you'll simply just go to the speed option and you just pick the amount of speed that you want. It can be super, super fast. It can be super, super slow, however you want to do it. And then it'll take a second to render and process depending on how fast the speed is. But you can see that's a six minute video and I wanted to make it really short and crisp just to promote. And I'm going to make it into a reel on promoting this video that I made. And that's exactly another fun way to promote your other platforms. If you're doing YouTube, YouTube is a great way to get traffic and people to your Instagram and to your business because it's a searchable platform like blogging. People search for certain things. Think about how many videos you watch, how many blog posts you read just to get information. And then you find these people that you um, get great information from pe products you buy from them because of watching something and trusting what they say okay so once you do that you can see it's a real quick clip like look how fast it goes like the entire video is in like I think it's 30 seconds yeah the entire video is in 30 seconds so what I actually want to do because it's in 30 seconds I'm gonna trim it because I'm gonna make it into a reel and do a quick intro on it when I upload this reel okay so I'll make it into like 23, 24 seconds, something like that. So I can have a quick clip talking so it's not going to be over 30 seconds, okay? So split it, leave it at that. And then you simply just save it when you're done. Um, oh, before I do, I do remove the watermark, you see, because it has that InShot watermark. And I personally don't like the watermark on there. Um, if you don't mind it, then don't worry about it. But you can watch a free video to get rid of the watermark every time. And then all you do is once that's done, you simply check and make sure you like the speed of it. It's good to go. Um, and then you can just save it at the 1080p. And of course it has its little ad that goes and exit once it's done, it'll convert the video for you. And we'll wait for that to convert. You can see how easy it is to do it. Um, Once it's done, and there you go, you simply go to Reels, Upload Reel, go to your photo, and you'll see the 23 second video, you'll upload the 23 second video, okay? Um, now, of course, when you're doing this, you'll want to um, check it. I typically would like to add a video before then, so before I upload the image, I would do a video of myself, but I'll be honest with you, I did it when I had like no makeup on, I woke up, I. I just did not look very presentable. I mean, you'll probably see a clip of my face because I was showing it, but it's like, ugh. Okay, so then you just do a video clip, introducing outro however you wanted to do it, and then there you go. You have a speed reel, really easily done, and there you go. Okay, so I show right now just that you can record yourself in the beginning, and that's what I prefer, but you can see it's really easy to do, and um, I'm going to... So then you would simply just upload it and do that. Now, of course, Reels gives you the options to do that as well. So it has like the times, um, let me see, let me pop it up and show you. So you simply just record, I'm recording it right now just to show you, but you hit this uh, three times option, I'm gonna do three times speed and you can do really slow as well if you wanna do slow. And then you just record it, do your talking, say hello, okay, stop, 
check it out and you'll see there you go like it's done in fast mode so there is a few ways stop okay there is a few ways that you can actually make these reels go fast the way I just showed you is because I'm making it from a video clip that I'm doing to promote and share it on reels to get people to go to watch the YouTube excuse me to go watch the YouTube video now of course if you're doing something that is not related to that, I will probably just do it on reels because it'll be easier to do that but just so you know, there is an app that lets you do it, does the dimension size, and like I said, if you watch my other videos, I do InShot for all my video editing with that, with IGTV and stuff like that, because I can easily hit the canvas button and convert it to a Facebook post, or convert it to any other social media post that you want to share it on, so you did the work once and spread it across the board, but actually stick to the dimension size, so it makes it super easy to do. Okay, so that was how you can actually share and make a speed reel and promote your YouTube videos or other things that you're doing. So I actually give you two ways. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, leave a comment below. I'd love to know if this was something that you really enjoyed watching. If you want to see more videos on how to do things and little tricks like this, how to do it on Instagram. And if you really like this video and you want to share it, I'd love for you to screenshot it. Tag me on Instagram at the Christina Schwar so I can reshare your share. It's always fun seeing who gets value from it and how helpful it is for you to grow your business online on Instagram. Okay, so with that being said, that is this week's video. I will see you in next week's video, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And have a wonderful week, day, month, year, whatever you're watching this video. Love you.